YouTube was the word, man. We're back with another reaction video. I actually just recorded a video, but I was like, you know what? I didn't really like it. It wasn't really interesting. So, cancel it. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm live on Twitch right now. I'm probably live by the time you see this video. You never know. Just click the link to find out in the description. Also, click the link to my gaming channel. I just made that um, last night. So, I'm up on my first video tonight. And. Yeah, go swing over there, see if you, you know what I'm saying, fuck with the game inside. And also link to my own TikTok. I try to put, I post daily on there too. So yeah, check it out. Oh, it's raining. Oh yeah, we vibing tonight. <clears throat> but yeah, today's video we got 5L versus 4L. The beef caught up to Lil Rai. Um, I know who Lil Rai is. Like, I listen to his music. I don't personally know who he is. But yeah. Bro, bro, five, bro, but I don't listen to all. You know, I just heard one song by um, it was him and E B K J Bo Casualty. And like that song put me on E B K J Bo for real too. Crank up, I play bro too on my own streams. Anyway, enough, enough yapping about nothing. Let's get straight to the video. The t oh, 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 oh! Make sure you get your blunt. Wood split for you on game. Make sure you get it. We we'll gonna finish this little joint, this little blunt off. <clears throat> from the last video, I'm really mad I watched that video and wasted the blunt, but it's whatever. Textbook definition of crashing out is to do an act that will most likely result in jail or death without thinking. Right next to that definition in the dictionary on, is a picture of Lil Rai, the rising rapper from Mobile, Alabama, who's gone viral for his antics, which include getting robbed in the mall and beefing with damn near every single rap group you can find. Like, bruh, imagine dudes hating on you so much that they find you in the mall, rob the clothes that you just bought, and then post the fit that they just robbed you on Instagram, bruh. I swear, this new generation... Wait so much that they find you in the mall, rob the clothes that you just bought, and then post the fit that they just I ain't know that fit. I'm genius type shit. But bro, bro. <laughs> Let me see the caption. Ain't Lil Rock. I can't even see that bitch. Robbed you on Instagram, bruh. I swear this new generation of crash dummies is even more bold than a laugh. And when asked if he was Man, cut. I respect bro for not for not um crashing out in the mall. Cause I'm not gonna cap. Uh, I probably crashed out in the cap. You got a gun in you? Trying to rob me in a mall? But what? I'm blown. I ain't gonna cap. But yeah, that's, that's crazy, bro. Gonna move different after this crazy incident in an interview. You know what Lil Rye said? Hell nah. nah. <laughs> what you mean? What you mean move different? He wasn't doing that. He doing, living his life, chilling them all. He ain't doing that. He not moving wrong. Still pressure, buddy. So look. So you just got into a little dispute that happened yesterday, right? <clears throat> I swear, we gotta get into the he crazy beats life. of Lil Rai and how he got caught Bro, up just in the way like, possible, you know, man, for and him. what exactly is his crash out future right now. But before we do, man, I'm gonna need you to do a couple things for me. Like, comment, subscribe. We on the road to 100k subscribers. Make sure y'all tap into the merch link in the description at staysafeworld.com. Go hit that notification bell so whenever I post, y'all yeah, that's cool and all. That has him looking like he's about three breaths away from crashing out. Man, I don't know if bro is a marketing genius or slightly autistic. The way he was around and somehow, some way, was able to develop a beef with not just NBA Youngboy, but somehow found a way to implicate 21 Savage's gang 4L into his antics also. I'm, I'm going to say it right now. I really doubt that this is going to go well or really end up well. In the I'm going to keep it up with you, right? Because <clears throat> I'm, I'm from Alabama. Niggas in Alabama do not give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They do not care. They don't care about nothing. Like, when I mean nothing, 
I mean nothing at all. Like literally <laughs> nothing. They don't care about nothing. Like it's, it's, when niggas look at Alabama, they don't they don't know what really happens down here because they don't they don't live here. <clears throat> niggas on the outside think, oh Alabama is number of white people, which it is. It is a lot of white people, but it's not. They think number races. Oh brothers and sisters doing it. Nah, niggas don't even get down like that down here, bro. Keep it a buck with you. It is a lot of racist people, but they're not gonna they're not gonna be openly racist to you, bro. They cool as hell, <clears throat> bro. Like, but it's, it is a lot of it's. I'm not gonna say a lot. It's too many crash outs here. <laughs> like, I don't know who sent him there. Who sent these niggas here? But bro, they they will crash out like this. Literally, like down here when it like, bro. I ain't even against all that shit. That, that sh shit crazy, bro. I had, a, I had a nigga shot my crib up, bro. Like, on some, on some shit, trying to, trying to kill, trying to kill his BM. Cause, cause she lived right above us. Nigga, nigga shot through our, through, um, our shit. Nigga, crash house, bro. 21 Savages gang four out into his antics also. I'm I'm gonna say it right now. I really doubt that this is gonna go well or really end up well in the future, especially because bro somehow decided to move to Atlanta. But in order to really understand what makes bro move like a crash I mean, you gotta really know where he comes from and how exactly all this started in the first place. Lil Rise from the south side of Mobile, Alabama. Growing up, he got clicked up <coughs> with members from a gang called Fox 10, a notorious oh gang named Literally everybody here is in the game down there too. Like you will see you will see twelve year olds, ARPs in they in they um, pants. Clip bigger than them. I swear to God, on everything I look. Like it's bad here. <clears throat> Cause it ain't nothing here to do but game bang. Like nothing. There's nothing here to do at all. Game bang, party, and do crimes. Nothing is nothing here to do. That's why I'm glad I didn't get I didn't get into that shit. Bro. After putting ninjas on the news, I had most of the times get in that shit. And he began to find a following in his rap I'm career. One million percent glad I'm such dead. As young boy, even though they beef now. Eventually, he was able to expand his music reach by signing to Gucci Mane's Crash Dummy label. That's why I stopped fucking with them. And moving to Atlanta to take music more serious. Before I continue, I should probably mention that. Him signing to the label 1017 is definitely a major red flag in this story. In case you haven't noticed, all the artists that are signed to 1017, you know, Fujiano, Fushiesty, Big Scar, are pretty much either dead or in jail. There isn't one single successful 1017 artist besides Gucci Man. Every single other person pretty much crashes out on some type of timing, you know? But 1017 might be the worst label in rap history. And the crazy thing is that they pretty much encourage this type of behavior because it helps them sell views, sell clicks, and everything like that. And otherwise, his music wouldn't really be differentiated between other rappers and, you know, other NBA young boy copycat type rappers. And the music industry is crazy, man. Pooh Shiesty in jail, Fujiano in jail, Lil Wop turned to a prostitute, Ola Runt, he's in jail too. Lil Rai pretty much crashing out before our very eyes. It's, it's a recipe for disaster, this label, and this is completely who he's surrounded by. Not to mention, though, his ties with this rap label in the street world definitely put a target on his back so we must get into how that might just get him clapped in the city of Atlanta altogether man well he only in the A he is tweaking he is tripping <laughs> when you beef with niggas on here you can't move just to stay over bro niggas will niggas will travel uh, across the world to find you bro they don't care I'm telling you bro He's tweaking. He he not even he only three hours away, bro. Niggas drive longer than that to take vacations. School kids by themselves. Like he's <laughs> I mean, I guess so that's things niggas don't care so a sour turn one day when it seems that young boy made a cryptic post referring to someone as a rookie. It was from a song, but for some reason Lil Rhyme, the biggest NBA young boy fan turned young boy hater, manifested or beef and somehow suspected that this cryptic message was meant for him. This essentially unleashed a whole fried tirade on the internet 
that made him diss Young Boy and Board K Trey. At the same time, Lil Rye decided to get even deeper into the streets of Atlanta by clicking up with the infamous 5L game. Being close with the members of 1017, such as Ola Runt, he clicked with some of the henchmen. I uh, swear so that's one thing about Alabama nigga, but no matter where they go, they're gonna find somebody to click up with. <laughs> they can go to fucking Alaska, they're gonna find somebody. A game called 5L, which were basically swarm ops of some of the biggest rappers and rap groups and gangs in the city, oh, if not group, in the world. If you didn't know, 5L is a gang comprised of both Bloods and Crips from the east side of Atlanta off Edgewood and are sworn enemies with 4L, aka 21 Savage and Young Nudie's gang consisting of Bloods from the east side of Atlanta, Paradise East Apartments area. And on top of that, 5L has a crazy beef with Homicide Gang, aka Duct Tape Gang, which has several members affiliated very closely with Playboy Cardi. Cardi even talks about calling a hit on Ola Run in one of his biggest songs, saying, I had a nigga shank Ola for pie. Bruh, swear you can't make this up. You can probably guess it's extremely hard beefing with, you know, whole multi millionaire platinum rappers because they got so much money, they can just pay someone to pull up and press you, and they have unlimited pool in the city. So much pool, they can have goons that walk around just looking for rappers to check in. And that's exactly what looks like it happened to Lil Rai. Apparently that fateful day that he was <coughs> robbing in Lenox Square in Atlanta. So we gotta get into what exactly went down right now. Fast going to my shit right now, you know what? Somehow, two days ago in early November 2023, Lil Rai decided to pull up to the mall too deep to one of the most set up locations a well-known rapper can slide to in Lenox Square Mall. If you've never been to Atlanta, or been to Lenox Square Mall. This is just a quote unquote upscale mall Linux in an area of Atlanta mall in Atlanta, Buckhead, Atlanta. which is where Literally. all the wealthy people with money go. Except I feel like more of the wealthy people go to the Phipps Plaza across the street rather than going to the Lenox Square Mall because the Lenox Square Mall is just straight like not good activity basically going on there. A lot of up and coming rappers and entertainers and people who think that they're up and coming rappers and entertainers go there but it's low-key kind of sus, filled with random people who be looking like they're up to no good, trying to rob people and stuff. There's a lot of crazy activity going on, you know, shootouts in the parking lot. It's an infamous <clears> mall <throat> for a lot of crazy activity See, I ain't even know regular. That, like, I it's the type of place where you done, might just get shot in the parking lot. I done been in Atlanta, I done drove past Lenny Square like hella times, but never actually went inside. I always wanted to, but hearing that, never fucking mind. <laughs> I go to a little, uh, any little mall, anywhere else yeah. if you're like messing around or doing the wrong thing at the wrong time for real but it's not really a bad area it's just that people go there for the sake of shopping because it's one of the like quote unquote nicest malls really in the area so you find a lot of people over there it's sort of like yeah, it Melrose is it is a, it LA, is a nice like you know, outside like a nice awesome. area that could easily go wrong apparently while Lil Rai was shopping, he came across a couple of members of 4L who didn't take it too kindly with his affiliation of 5L because 5L constantly taunts 4L by saying 4LK, which is a diss basically saying they're 4L killers. This group didn't take too fondly to this and decided to take matters into their own hands. They asked if he was trying to check in with 4L as they were the biggest, most powerful rap group in Atlanta. Lil Rai essentially being a crack the best shit, bro. And he's like, you check in? What do you mean I check, have I checked in? Like, how would that shit even go even if you was to check in? Like, hey, bro, I'm finna pull up to Atlanta. That cool? The fuck? Who finna do that? Cause I know I'm not. Matters into their own hands. They asked if he was trying to check in with 4L as they were the biggest, most powerful rap group in Atlanta. Lil Rai, essentially being a crash dummy, rejects this and basically we know the story. He got robbed. They try to steal his chain and they didn't get it because he had this big 1017 Cuban link chain which are like extremely hard to pull off. But bro straight up robbed his clothes, put on his fit, and then posted it on the internet, man. I swear you That's crazy. Man, you cannot make this up. And everyone was basically cheering it on. They went into detail after and explained that they were not even trying to rob him at first. They were just trying to have him check in. 
you know, pay hey, yeah. like pulling up thirty minutes, minutes man. Especially not that's even being from that's Atlanta, not, talking that's crazy. That's crazy. That's Gaming these street affiliations with people that you don't even know. These are just you people just that took his clothes. Like, bro, a rapper, he own now. He, I'm pretty sure he can buy it again a million more times. He not really tripping off that shit. I don't think that's gonna make him leave the city. Like, hey, boy, bro, got I mean, I, I mean, I would change locations like in the city because niggas not so low, but I wouldn't. Leave the city though. These street affiliations with the group that's losing, bro, it's craziness, man. But regardless, regardless, especially regardless. you just got yeah, robbed. Yeah, so like you ain't got he got robbed, and yeah, then the dude I would, posted I would leave that location. Online, and then Young Boy felt some type of way too, and said that this is what happens when you mess with him. So it's pretty much like some of the biggest rappers in the world essentially beefing with this dude that was r relatively unknown before this incident. And now he's like pretty, you know, kind of big, I guess, but he's known for pretty much crashing out. The following day, Ro went into detail with an interviewer in the same mall where he went back and said that he was going back and that he doesn't even care. And they asked him, man, yo, are you gonna start moving differently? And he said, hell no, you know, Bro went to the same mall. Uh, obviously, the people that were there, they're not going to go to the same mall. The, the people that robbed him, they're not going to go to the same mall yeah. twice. Obviously, you know, why would they? They already got everything they needed. They got all his clothes and everything. Bro really dug himself in a hole, pretty much went back. So I really don't hope that there's more Lil Ryan news in the future. That is really tragic. But I wouldn't be surprised if there was because I've never seen someone just willingly crash out. You know, bro has been so bad at this. Even a year ago, this video was of him pulling up to his ops hood with the switch in the gas station and stuff. Bro is like just waiting to like crash out, man. Like, I don't want to say he's waiting to die, but pretty much what else is he going to gain from this, bro? He's on 1017, so it's not like there's people around him that are like, hey, man, you need to stop doing all this stuff. You need to stop <laughs> doing these drugs. You need to stop you know going to these locations you need to stop flexing guns with illegal modifications no, on yeah, the internet like, man you gotta stop all that now. cause I ain't, I ain't part of the earth in a long time the way I'm feeling right now I'm damn near like a little too fried not too fried but like I'm, I'm the type of person I just want to get a little you know what I'm saying a little fried I don't like to be overly fried niggas like to get out they body I don't like to do all that shit man. Give me a little blunt, and I'm cool. It gotta be some gas, though. I don't smoke no mid or nothing, but I'm, I'm, I, don't, I ain't talking about that. Stuff, like, no I ain't really talking about that. No I'm just pretty sure Gucci Man, I wonder if he knows all, all this stuff. But the real I question for me trial, is how on earth like did he decide to just come to the city of Atlanta and then join a beef that basically has been going on for like years now and basically go on the side that is losing? You know, that doesn't even make any sense whatsoever. And then really walk around the city. I mean, obviously, he probably didn't understand the politics of this whole situation. But it's like, man, what can you really do if you're a little ride? Well, first off, you cannot do this crap. I mean, like, there's no point of even discussing what he should be doing. Because it's like, this dude is pretty much already fried to the point where it's it's, it's only a matter of time. And it's really sad that I say that. you... When you, when you, when you in the streets, bro, when you knee deep, you can't get up. It ain't no, it ain't no coming out. You can run as far as you want, as long as you want. It's only a matter of time when you can only stop running. When you knee deep, that shit gonna come back eventually. Hopefully he learns from these situations, and he's just using this as like a marketing ploy to try to get people to look at his music. Because his music is not bad, I'm telling you, his music is good. good. He's one of the most promising people on the 1017 label, which says a lot, even though everyone else is pretty much it's locked a lot, up. Dang, it's a and lot of niggas from here that's actually good with music. A lot of niggas. Young niggas, too. There's no Pooh Shiesties right now, or any of those types of people. But I just hope that there's a better path for him. But you see in a lot of these rap situations, these people that blow up overnight for, like, negative things, end up getting, you know, caught up and murked. You know, look at, like, BTB Savage. This really reminds me of BTB Savage, even though he's been around longer than BTB Savage. But BTB Savage <clears throat> was a rapper 
you know, who was pretty big and then had a moment on it's, the it's line crazy. because his ops basically broke into his house and he shot them in self-defense. He was taunting them forever and taunting them for a week. And by the time that he got big, he had already been taunting It's so crazy. I found out about, bro, VTB Savage a day um, after he died. I mean, a day long before he died. I think he was off for like a week or something and then pretty much he died right away. Like a couple days after his peak and he had a Vlad TV interview and had millions of streams, he got gunned down. And I'm not saying that that's going to essentially happen in a little ride, but it just doesn't really play out that well. But there's a couple of factors that might keep him alive just based on the fact that the DA, Fannie Willis, is really cracking down in Atlanta that maybe these people aren't going to want to like publicize shooting someone. I mean, they seem pretty smart. I like to nigga around, nigga around, like y'all. This the wild, I appreciate nigga around, like y'all. I'm ready to kill those shots and hit like the boy drink a little gone tweet. I got paid out, mirror my chain. I heard he's down, not them. Hey, rockin' this arm, but not seriously injured or anything like that. They had guns, but they didn't use them, which is honestly pretty smart. Imagine recording the video right now. Think about it because the DA is trying to crack down on this type of activity, and if there was a shooting or anything like that, it definitely would have went south. You know. Could have been Rico's for all the four. Yo, what's the word? Savage right? and Young Nudie and Baby Drew end up getting page. caught up. But man, regardless, I just feel like it's not very smart to be for four. Um, I'm not saying that in for any other reason, but you're saying that they're crazy. Pre church coming to the stream too. Man, bro, look at Baby Drew. Go watch my Baby Drew video. Just talking about how many bodies this dude allegedly has. And then come back here and tell me that Lil Rye should be beefing with 4L, man. But, hey, let me know in the comments what y'all think about this whole situation. Man. That don't mean it's nothing. Just, it he talking about bodies. That don't mean nothing, bro. Keeping it a butt, it really don't. There's a lot of niggas from down here who got bodies. A lot of young niggas, too. I can, I can tell you, I know a nigga right now off the top of my head. A young nigga. He ain't even 18 yet. Got four, five plus bodies, bro. That body shit don't mean nothing to niggas out here. I'm telling you. It don't. But, nigga, I'm th nigga I'm thinking about, he's also in jail right now, too, so, yeah. If you do, like, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new. Link in the description of my Twitch. Currently live right now. Probably live by the time you see this video. Link in the, link in the description of my gaming channel, also. I'm gonna upload a video on that, um, tonight, too. Link in the description of my TikTok. And, what else, what else? Yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm out. Till next time.